And I'm back with Mary and the proud Mary, her boat. And so uh, she set a record, a world record for sailing in 1977. Her vessel, the proud Mary, reached a speed of 3.17 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. And so we're supposing it takes eight seconds. So I need not the eraser, but the delta T is eight seconds. To, uh, for the boat to decelerate from initial velocity is 3.17 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour to our final velocity of 2.00 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour. What is the boat's acceleration? So we want to know what the acceleration is. Acceleration, we know that acceleration equals change in velocity over a change in time. And uh, and we also want to know what is the displacement, delta x, as it slows down. So we've got two problems here. So the first problem, we have to find the acceleration. And so acceleration is a change in velocity over a change in time. We do have these. We might want to transfer these into the same units. So let's look at this for a second. We need to change our uh, accelerations into uh, meters per second squared. So that means we need to change our velocities into kilometer or meters per second. So let's go ahead and find our change in velocity. So our um, our acceleration is going to be equal to uh, change final 2.00 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour minus 3.17 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour divided by our uh, 8.0 seconds. So this is 2 minus 3.17 gives us negative 1.17 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour. And we have 8 seconds. And that means we need to then multiply over here to get kilometers per hour into meters per second. If you guys remember from our previous questions, all we have to do is multiply by 1,000 and divide by 3,600. So times 1,000 meters over 3,600 seconds. And so we end up seeing that our acceleration in meters per second is going to be 4.1 meters per second squared and that is a negative value so there's our acceleration that's the first part and then our second part says that our uh, we want to find our delta x and so delta x we actually find by finding our vi times t plus one half a t squared. And so we have our delta x, we have our vi times t, we have our one half a t squared. And so we can plug that in. So our vi is uh, 3.17 times 10 to the 2 kilometers per hour. We need to multiply that times 1,000 meters and divide by 3,600 seconds to get meters per second. And then we multiply that by 8 seconds, that's our time, plus our 1 half times our acceleration of negative 4.1 meters per second squared times our t squared or 64. That's the second squared. And so if we plug all of that in, we find that our uh, change, delta x, is equal to 
573 meters. And so we've got three sig figs here, three sig figs, that's the same number, two sig figs here. So our answer should be in three sig figs. Uh, nope, we've got time. Time is only two sig figs. So we've got two sig figs, 573. It's going to round to 570 meters or 5.7 times 10 to the 2 meters. Last question. In Virginia during 1994, Elmer Trett reached a speed of 372 kilometers per hour on his bicycle, a motorcycle. Suppose Trett rode northwest at this speed for 8.7 seconds. So V equals 372 kilometers per hour. Uh, he rode northwest for delta T is 8.7 seconds. Uh, and we want to find um, the angle theta is 60 degrees, and we want to know displacement east and displacement north. So let's draw ourselves a picture. We've got this guy right here. We've got this guy right here. This is delta x. This is delta x. And this is Elmer Trett's ride. This is Elmer Trett's ride. This angle is 60 degrees. And angle between east and the direction of his ride is 60 degrees. Uh, the speed is 8.7 seconds. And so we want to find out what that um, displacement is. So we know that delta x is equal to v times t. And so if we've got v times t, this is 372 kilometers per hour times 8.7 seconds. We can turn 372 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So 372 kilometers per hour times uh, 1,000 meters in a kilometer divided by 3,600 seconds in an hour gives us 891.6, sorry, 96.1, I'll erase that, meters, so this times T, So that is our hypotenuse of this triangle. So we want to find out what this side is, and we want to find out what this side is. So we've got our two sides, we've got an angle, and we've got our hypotenuse. So we can solve that. And so the way we do that is our east, we have the cosine of 60 times the hypotenuse. 896.1 meters equals 448. We have our north. We have the sine of 60 times 896.1 meters. And that gives us 776. And that's meters. We have three sig figs. We have 372. We have uh, two sig figs there. Uh, we have three sig figs there. So two sig figs is what we, is our answer. So 448 becomes 450. And that is in the east direction. And 776 becomes 780 in the north direction.
And that is how we solve those two problems.